In this video, I'm gonna do extra practice one in tutorial two. So this is a question. Prove that for any x, y in real number, x minus y is greater than or equal to negative x minus y, the absolute value of x minus y. So some of you, when you see this, you might think, oh, let's square both sides. Can you do that? No, you cannot. Why is that? First of all, we know this side is definitely less than or equal to zero because this is greater than or equal to zero and you put a minus in, uh, at the front, which makes this non-positive. But on this side, we don't know if it's positive or negative or zero. We have no information about this, which means if you square both sides, you don't know if you need to change this. So that's not an option. Second of all, when you have a look at this, we notice that this is an inequality question and we have absolute value here, which means my guess is that we need triangle inequality. My guess is we need, we need to use triangle inequality. So that's my guess. Well, let's write down what triangle inequality states. Triangle inequality is telling us if we have real number a and b, the absolute value of a plus b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b. So that's triangle inequality. Now, if you observe this, you'll see that, well, the here we have negative, we have, here we have minus. We don't want that. We only want positive and plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this so that it looks more like our triangle inequality. So I'm going to rearrange this. That's going to give me um, the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of x minus y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of y. Now if you look at this and this, I'm gonna say they look really similar. Okay, so my now my right now my guess is that this is my a plus b, this is my a, and this is this is my a, this is my b. Okay, just by looking at this. Compare those two, that's my guess. So Here's my guess. Now I'm not writing any formal proof, okay? I'm just guessing. My a might be x, and my b might be x minus y. But if that's the case, I want a plus b equals to y. But right now, my a plus b is not y. So what can I do? Well, we know that the absolute value of x equals to the absolute value of negative x. So let's say, what if my a is negative x instead of x? Now if you add them together, what is that going to give you? That's going to give you negative y. Well, uh, negative y and y, they have the same absolute value, so that works. So let's try that. Well, uh, okay, so by triangle inequality, inequality, we have a plus b, so the absolute value of a plus b, so that's going to be y, is less than or equal to the absolute value of a, so the absolute value of negative x, plus the absolute value of b, x minus y. Okay, well, we checked a plus b equals to negative y. Oh, ne never mind. Should be negative y here. Negative y. Okay, because a plus b equals to negative y, yeah. So, if I guess a equals to this, b equals to that, a plus b equals to negative y, we have this, and then you can... This is the same as y, the absolute value of y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x 
plus the absolute value of x minus y. Okay, and this is exactly as what we rearranged before. So you can continue uh, and get back to this. Okay, so you move um, you move your y to the other side, and you move this to the other side. All right, so that's going to give you negative the absolute value of x minus y is going to be smaller or equal to the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y. Okay, so that's your proof. So let's erase what's unnecessary. Um, let's add proof here. And instead of guess, let's change it to let. Let let a equals to that, b equals to that, then, then a plus b equals to this. By triangle inequality, we have this, and that's it. Okay, so um, this is not part of the proof, so I'm going to change it to another color. And this is not part of the proof, so I'm going to change it to another color as well. Okay, so only the blue part are proofs. This is just one way of doing this. We have other ways. For example, um, let me write one. For example, when you guess your A and B, you might have A equals to X, and B, you can change it to negative of X minus Y. So that's going to be y minus x. Then your a plus b is going to be y. Okay? So by triangle inequality, equality, so I didn't write this. I didn't, I didn't write this here, but you should have it. Uh, triangle inequality. Let me fix this. So let me put this here. Duplicate and style. So by triangle inequality, this we have, we have this, this, and then eventually we have that. Okay, just let me fix it and make it better. Anyway, um. Again, by triangle inequality, we know this is a triangle inequality. Then you plug in your A and B in there. That's going to be Y is the center equal to the absolute value of X plus the absolute value of Y minus X. Okay, and we know that the absolute value of y minus x equals to the absolute value of x minus y. So this is the same as the absolute value of y is the center equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of x minus y. And then you do the same thing, you rearrange it. That's going to give you negative x minus y less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y. So, done. There might be other ways to do it as well. Um, I don't want to show you another way, but I think after you rearrange this, and if you square both sides, it might work as well. I didn't try, but I think it might work as well. So there are many ways to prove this question. I hope uh, you got at least one of them. Anyway, that's the end of the video.